Hi everyone, welcome to Think Smart Home. Today we are going to talk about how to install Visual DSM on the Galaxy container. So, running a Virtual DSM on an LXC container might have some uses. For example, if you want to share some file with somebody and you don't want to expose your whole production technology nest to the internet or to share it with somebody else, you can use Virtual DSM. I would not recommend you to use this installation of DSM to host your critical data on it. All right, so to install Visual DSM on an LXC container, I would assume you have already installed and set up your Proxmox node on your PC or any of your hardware. If you haven't done that already, I have created a video on how to install and set up Proxmox on your PC. I'll leave the link to the video down in the description below. All right, so just to give you an overview, we will be creating an LXC container. And we will be running a script which will make that LXE container ready to run the virtual DSM. Then we will go ahead and then use the Docker Compose file on this GitHub page to run the virtual DSM on our LXE container. All right, let's go to our Proxmox node and then create a new LXE container. I've already created some templates which are generally used when I need to create a new LXC container. So I will be using these templates. If you haven't done that, or if you haven't created any LXC container, I have created a video on how to create the templates. I'll leave the link to the video down in the description below. All right, so I'll create a clone of my existing template. So Creating a clone is more or less the same as creating a new LXC container with some fewer steps. And then you already get predefined setting like SSH port or password, everything set already as you have done while you create the LXC template. All right, so I need to give a container ID. So let's say I'll give it 30. I just need to make sure that it's not already used in the node. And then I need to give it a host name. So I'll give it a host. Let's say YT. And then I want to create a full clone. The target I'll use local DFS. And click clone. So it's creating a clone. So as long as you see a lock symbol next to the Alexi um, icon, that means it's still processing, so we're going to do much about that. Okay, the clone is created, so now it's ready. So I don't want to start the container yet. Before I start the container, I need to run script. What that script will do, basically, it will fix all the uh, permission required to run the virtual DSM on this Proxmox node. So this is a script created by a user data breach. I'll leave the link to the script down in the description below if you want to go through it. So um, for now, we can simply copy the command to run the script on our node. So this script should be run on the node and not on the Alexi container. So you should have um, the root access on your node to run this script. All right, I'll just paste the command in here and then hit enter. All right, so it will ask you a few questions. Right now it is telling you what the script will do and then how to run it. So I'll say yes. Now we need to enter the Alexi container ID. So in my case, is two three zero all right so the script has run through successfully and it has done its job so i'll go ahead and then start the lxc container all right my lxc container has started so let's log in all right so let's 
create a Docker Compose file and then paste the Docker Compose code from the GitHub page and then we will run it that way. Uh, before, even before that, I'll, I'll just make sure I log in as a root. Okay, now I'll create a folder called Docker and then inside this folder, I cre I'll create a new folder for the Visual DSM. All right, so not this way. I should have created a folder inside the Docker. So I'll. All right, I'll go into my folder which I just created, and then here I will create a compose file, and now I'll go to the GitHub page and then copy the compose.gml and then go back to my compose file and paste it there i don't really want to change anything in here i'll probably if you want to um adjust the disk size you can do that but i don't need to so I'll leave it as it is so for the storage i will probably create a local folder inside my dsm folder so i'll just save it now and then in this folder since we created a local storage folder so i'll make sure i have a um, local storage inside my vdsm folder and that is done now i just need to make sure that my resources are set properly to uh, for this rxc container so i'll go back and then adjust the resources i'll give it uh, maybe four gigs of ram for both ballooning as well so and for the cores i'll probably give it a four cores maybe and for the disk i just want to i'll probably give it a um, 16 gigs Well, that's done so i just want to reboot the container so that just the errors uh new resource and the question just takes place so um i should have done that before um yeah before setting it up but yeah that's fine all right so we'll go back to we'll log into our container again and then we'll, we'll run the Docker Compose file again. So, um, okay, I've logged in as root. Then I just need to make sure I browse to the same folder where I created the Docker Compose file and then run the Docker Compose up command from there. All right. So I need so that is pulling up the latest container from the GitHub and it should be up and ready soon. All right, so I need to know what is my IP address. So in this case, my IP address for the container is one eight two one six eight ten dot one four zero. So one eight two dot one six eight ten dot one four eight, and then the port number, which is the default five thousand. As you can see, is now downloading the latest um, DSM. So we'll let it do its things and then we'll come back to this one. All right, while this is happening, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. All right, the download is complete. Now it's accepting the system partition. So we will wait until it is finished and then 
we should see the login page uh, even before login probably we'll have to create a new admin account because this is the first time we are setting it up and logging into our system all right uh, looks like the installation of the dsm is complete so it's just booting up the system so we will wait for another few minutes and it should be good to go alright so installation is complete now we are ready to set up our DSM it took some time probably because of my node my Proxmox node which is running on a very cheap um, a mini PC which I bought just for, for the testing but anyway, let's start and um, let's go ahead and set up our DSM and see uh, how we log in to our DSM for the first time. So I'll click start. So this is the first time we are getting into our DSM. So we have to create our, um, our, our admin account. So I have quickly entered all the details. So let's click next. Here I'll just like to automatically install DSM, so that's fine. I'll click next again. So I'll skip everything in here for now. Now I'll skip it and click submit. All right, so here we are. We are on to our home for our DSM, which generally you get when you set up a new DSM or if you set up a new Synology NAS. So um, I'll skip all these two-factor authentications. Uh, maybe you can set it up later if you really want. But this is a test um, DSM for me, so I, I will not be doing anything in here. So I'll just want to show you the, the volume, which is the 15 gigs or the 16 gigs which we set it up. So I think everything is ready. We can go ahead into the package manager and then install the packages or whatever you want. So it's really powerful uh, if you if you want to run the DSM just for some um, testing or maybe for the temporary setup or let's say if you want to share a few files with your friends or anybody and and you don't want to expose your um, um, production NAS or production Sonology NAS to them you can simply boot it up put the files in there and share the link with them and then once the copy over is complete you can probably even get rid of this whole um, virtual DSM and then set up a new one in the future if you need so this was a very basic um, setup of how you can install a virtual DSM on your Proxmox um, there is actually there are some more settings which you can do for example if you want to um, set up a global disk or if you want to add multiple disks in there which I don't recommend but yeah for, for like for permanent use I don't recommend using this one but if you really want to uh, tweak all these settings you can probably go through this github page I'll leave the link to this page down in the description below and then you can go through all these settings and uh, tweak your setup to suit your needs all right i think that's it for this video i hope you liked it please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you in the next video